Same one. He's, he's running, running away already. Oh, I didn't mean to jump off there. Dang, wrong button. Okay. Too late. Commit. Commit. Go after him. <laughs> we already jumped off. Just go for it. All right, where is he? Oh no, he's mad. Oh no, no, no. I was totally wrong. Oh, we're not gonna get away. Run, run, run. Where's that? We're back at it again with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved Single Player Playthrough, episode number 12, The Center Map Boosted. Alright, so we've got quite a few things done the last few episodes. Yeah, everyone that is watching, I really appreciate it. I, if you could, if I get a couple of likes, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, I didn't think I'd get any views at all, so just the fact that we're like at 25 to 30 views per video, pretty stoked about that. I figured we'd be at zero views for like the first year that we did this. I know it's kind of hard to discover a, a little tiny channel that doesn't put out a lot of content so hey, this is just a hobby having a lot of fun with it and uh, I really appreciate it so hey things we got going on for this episode uh, we're planning on going out and finally doing some taming so I made up a whole bunch of stone arrows a few other things that we got done during this uh, uh, during the last few hours kind of played a, off camera trying to get everything did tons and tons of uh, narcotic got that all going and got a bunch of berries and the spoiled meat's finally starting to stack up a little bit, so it's making it a little bit easier. Uh, like I said, we've got a whole bunch of arrows. We're going to do uh, 100 trank arrows, so we'll be able to go out and actually tame some things here in a minute. All right. We uh, kind of ranged our dinosaurs a little bit. Over the last couple episodes, we got most of our base built up, so looking a little bit better. Uh, the one thing that we really need to get into is we need, we need a lot more metal. We're really low on metal, so... You know, work on getting some of that probably need to grab some stone arrows too we'll, we'll take some more stone arrows with us oh I have the berries on there I think I just kinda emptied everything so while that's building up we're gonna go ahead and roll right out we're gonna go straight out, straight out into it kinda look for something I don't have anything particular in mind that we're looking for we need a lot of things we need uh, pretty much any of the resource dinosaurs ankylo, mammoth, uh, beaver we might go by the over the, to the area where the beavers are and see the and the beavers are high enough level to be worth it so we're trying to look anything over level 100 is pretty good uh, we might dip down to a 90 or 95 but with a max level of 150 you probably don't want anything under 100 so we're going to try and stay over 100 we'll kind of see what we got going up here a whole bunch of Fiomias. Uh I always say that I'm going to get one of these uh, I think if you have a whole bunch of dinosaurs it's not necessary to have a Fiomia but it's kind of nice if you want to get into making some gardens and you need the fertilizer and everything the little film is they're known as the poop machine so if we can get plenty of those or get one or two of those guys then we'd be good to go and I don't even think they can attack I've never actually ridden one or tamed one to where we could actually use it for attack or anything so I'm not sure if they're really worth it other for anything other than that all right so a couple raptors up here was that look like a level 95 so and, yeah we definitely want to get a few a few more carnivorous dinosaurs so we can actually do some attacking and go do some more leveling like it when we can actually go out and do a little bit of leveling and should be oh crap <laughs> oh no I thought we were safe on the rock okay my bad <laughs> I thought we were safe on the rock the raptors decided that we were not and there's a rex up here level 20 so gotta kinda watch out this area is a little bad let them run off the cliff so that's our new patented fighting move when we're on one of these birds since the birds can't do much damage back kinda just run them right off the edge so alright so the raptor should be out of the way haven't really explored too much up here other than just looking at the ruins. A couple anklos up here. 125. I think that might be the guy to go for. I think we're going to go for that. 125 anklo. We definitely need more metal. Uh, we, we don't have much metal. We're having to go down to the river and hit at some of those rocks. We're only getting like 5 or 10 rocks, or 5 or 10 metal per rock. So it's taken a long time to get any kind of metal made up. So we did make a bunch of refining forges. Alright. Alright, so we'll jump off here. Need to go make sure there's no more raptors down there. I know there's more than one, so just want to double check. There's not another one down here. There is a there's a kangaroo down there, the Procoptodon. Where's he at? Level 55. Level 55. Yeah, uh, not quite high enough. Honestly, probably uh, for a Procoptodon, I'm, I don't mind going a little bit lower because we just use use that primarily as a travel dinosaur. Uh, they can get some pretty good speed, and then their jumping is awesome. Uh, I know there's raptors were down here somewhere. I've 
a hard time finding them, but if, if they're not close enough to see, hopefully they're not close enough to come eat us. So we should be good to go. Alright, so let's see. One thing I did want to see, I haven't tried... We, we used Ebola on all the dinosaurs. I want to see if Ebola actually works for any of the other larger dinosaurs, see if it actually can tie them up for a second. I know it works on the birds, but we've never actually tried it on anything else really. So, get a couple supplies we need here. Let's see what else we need. No, that should be it. Make a couple of those. So we get a couple of bolas made up. Like I said, they, they may not even work with this dinosaur. They might be too big for them. So I don't know what all dinosaurs the bowl actually works on. So we'll try this out. Throw this in our hot bar. Alright. So no worries. If if it doesn't work, no problem. Then we'll just trank it without it. Because the ankles aren't fast enough to where you really have to worry about them. They're pretty slow. Alright, where, where are they at here? There he is. Okay. Yeah, let him come back this way just a little bit. What do we got over here? Dodicarus 55? Yeah, not, not worth it. Okay, kind of want to keep an eye out, make sure we don't have anything bad come up in the area. So let's see if this this works. All right, it looks like it did not, so they just made him mad. So, all right, let's just go ahead and trank him. So it should be pretty easy. Like I said, these guys are pretty slow, so you can kind of just evade them a little bit. Especially our movement speed is really high now. We we'll continue to pump a lot into movement speed, so we can do a lot of running away. Um, especially our taming method tends to be the uh, shoot and run, shoot and run. All right. I'm not sure how many arrows it's going to take. Shouldn't take too many. As long as he doesn't. He, gets, he has some pretty good knockback if he actually hits you, but as long as you stay far enough back, you should be fine. I'm not sure. If, hopefully, I might put my bird on passive. I'm not even sure. Let's just not get hit. That'll be the better idea. Alright. Kind of keep him in this general area. The biggest thing is once he gets a little bit tranked up, I don't want him to run right off the edge. There's a cliff right over there. Hopefully, he doesn't run off that. Keep coming towards us. Let's see. Alright. Put a few into him so far. Alright. Is he still coming towards us? Alright, he's still coming. Oh, actually, he looks like he veered off a little bit. So he actually might not be chasing us now. It looks like he veered off a little bit. So we got. Oh no, he's got a buddy over here. Okay. Two of them now, but this guy. I just want to focus on the one guy. This guy looks like level 20. Yeah, level 20 is just going to get in the way more than anything, so you just stay out of the way. All right, he's down. Perfect, perfect. So there's 20 we need to deal with, otherwise he's going to end up hitting this other team and knock down the effectiveness, so let's go ahead and knock this guy out. This one won't take as many arrows, The 20 is real easy to knock out. Go ahead and get a couple more arrows. So these guys go down pretty quick. Yeah, you see, he's already running away. They lower the level the quicker they go down, so. All right. So he's down. We're actually going to just leave him there. We can leave him there so we can, uh, if the raptors do come up, hopefully they'll snack on him first before they see us and turn to us. So, uh, make sure we look around. Nothing bad in the area. We need to get some berries together. I should have I should have brought a whole bunch of mejos off one of the trikes, but that's fine. We can. The rates are high enough. We can grab some right here and be good to go. All right. So 30 something, 30 something. This shouldn't be too long of a tame. Uh, like I said, some of the higher level herbivores do take a little bit longer. They have somewhere between like 4 and 8% per feeding, and it takes a little while for the food to go down. So let's see how long this one takes. That's, uh, they're on my hot bar. We'll put these mejos up here. All right. Oh, yeah, there's not very much at all. Okay, so this is going to take a little while. It's, gonna, it's not too, too bad. Definitely not as bad as it would be if it was on a official server or lower rates. So lower taming speed would take forever. I know some of the old days we'd, we'd have to nurse the tame for like 24 hours it felt like. I honestly don't remember the exact times but I know it was a long long time. Many many hours. So this is a little bit better. So We won't really mess with the level 20 over there. We can just leave him there. Uh, the Dodicarus isn't really the Dodicarus isn't really worth taming so we're not going to mess with him. Alright. All right, so this seems like a pretty safe area. So while this guy's taming up, we're probably just going to explore just a little bit. Just kind of fly right on this area. I don't want to go too far. I want to stay close enough to where if we see anything come in, we can uh, get back. All right. And we've talked about it almost every video. These ruins areas are awesome. Uh, the amount of detail in like, little areas they put around them is phenomenal. 
Just the, uh, the little, just a little bit of world building makes it a little bit more fun. Kind of look around, make sure we don't see anything. A little bit harder time seeing around in this, uh, in the dense foliage over here. And we're kind of on the edge of this island, kind of towards the swamp, uh, not too far from the water. See what else we got. Here. Something, something's hitting us. What's, what's getting us over here? Oh, I can't see. Let's see. Oh, Dillos. Dang Dillos. <laughs> Get tired of those guys. All right. Yeah, we don't want to deal with those. As long as we keep our stamina up, just keep keep flying around here. All right. Kind of. Let's, let's see what on on the other end of this uh, ruins area. Kind of see if we got some. Anything cool over here? You know, we got the Dodicarus down there. Looks like our tames are doing just fine. No, nothing attacking either of the tames. Oh, there's oh, there's a fight. Ah, there's those raptors. A couple more, a couple more anklos. A couple raptors. Looks like those anklos are gonna take that raptor out. So, all right, I think they knocked him out. So, good, good, good. So the anklos down there keeping us safe. That'll work. Don't worry about those guys at all. That'll make it a lot easier. Alright, yeah, let's follow this up, all these little stairs, I'm not sure exactly where it leads to, probably just to this little top area right here. Oh, we've got an ankle stuck right here. It's like a stuck spot, level 125. I don't remember if the one we knocked out of it was male or female, let's see. Maybe we should try to tame this one, but it might be kind of a pain in the butt the way it's stuck in there like that. Let's jump off, I kind of want to see what this little, this little hole right here is all about. Maybe we'll maybe we'll shoot this guy and decide to tame him. I'm not sure. If it's the same, same as the one we have already down, it's not really worth it. Let's go check on him though. So kind of a cool little area back here. All right. Uh, okay. Looks like it doesn't go anywhere. Looks like just the other side of the mountain, really. So nothing. Be kind of cool if you built like a little base over here. That could be like another, you know, entrance exit area that you could build up. It'd be kind of cool. So. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay, get out. Jump. <laughs> We're stuck underneath like the little ledge here and can't quite jump up and Okay. Run and jump. Yep. Nope. There we go, okay. Thought we were gonna be stuck. I left my bird far enough down to where we might not be able to get him. Alright, let's just kinda look around right up here. Hope I don't find anything bad. Oh, we can always run back down the stairway right there. Biggest thing is getting lost in the foliage here. Low level turtle. A whole bunch of crystal and metal, so we know we got tons of crystal and metal up here. It's kind of a little 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 far from our base. Not I don't know if it's worth traveling all the way up here. Although I could build like a forge up here in the little ruins area and leave one of my anklos in the ruins part and actually just run up here, gather metal, throw it on the forge. Maybe when we get into an industrial oh, is that a troton? Or a trudon, however you say it? Let's get out of here. Let's not mess with that guy. Go, 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 go. Oh, don't fall off. <laughs> okay, we're good. Alright. I, I thought I saw something else up here. Let's see. I was busy running from the Trodon. And I don't know if it's Trodon or Trudon. I'll have to look it up. The uh, those little guys are a pain because they usually go in little packs. And I think they do some kind of topor or something like that. I'm not 100% for sure. They're obviously mad at us. Uh, I don't see them, but I know they're in the area somewhere. Usually they're, since it's nighttime, you can see their little glowing eyes, but you got all these little like, glowing spores floating through the air here, so I keep thinking I see one. Alright, if we can, if we can, we can just like pull them off the edge over here. I thought I saw something right there. Yeah, see, I keep thinking I see something with all the glowing stuff here. And they fell off the other direction already. There we go, Therizino 95. See, I'd like to tame that. It'd be kind of nice, actually, in a video, actually get two tames at once. That'd be nice. Haven't done that in a while. All right. Is there anywhere up here we can land? Ah, the, the Therizino, man. They do some quick damage. I don't know if we can take one of those guys on just yet. Maybe we can, maybe up on this little hill right here. Maybe we can get up on the hill right here and actually just kind of snipe it from up top. It might not be too bad. Yeah, let's... Oh, we can't get through there. 
Come on. And... Oh no, I'm stuck. Let's turn around. Okay, go over. <laughs> and we're just stuck at a different angle. Okay, obviously I need to go to some flight school here. I need to get a little bit of Tyranodon flight school going. Alright. Jump off, don't fall off. Oh, no, 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 don't die. Oh, my God. Okay, don't, where's the Trodons? Don't find me now. All right, bird. Whew, okay. <laughs> All right, that was almost a disaster. Our health was way down. I don't know what the, what it went to, but we were definitely flashing red there. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I, get, I may have just hit too hard on the, uh, pressing forward. My fault. Oh, let's tell him to hold still. Alright, let's try this again a little slower. <laughs> I got a little overzealous and kind of just jumped off. And of course, there's a second ledge down there, and of course, I missed that one too. So, alright. Get through these, which we can't. Okay, don't fall off the edge. Now I'm real skittish to fall off the edge. We're already flashing red. I don't want to die just falling off the edge here. Alright, let's get these bushes out of the way so we can see it a little bit better. It's so hard to see with all this foliage. Alright, let's see if we can get this one out of the way too. It would be nice to know where those those, those true dons went to. Alright, let's see. Let's see, where is this guy? Way down here. Let's see if we can hit him from here. Nope. Need to go a little higher. Alright, come on. There we go, there we go. See, so we weren't far enough that it should be that much drop. Alright, hit him, hit him, hit him. Get him from here. Oh man, he might be at a bad angle. I don't think we're gonna be able to get him. This little underneath part is just too much. And we're starving. Right, need a couple berries to get that calmed down. Man, I don't know if we're gonna be able to hit this guy. This is a bad angle. I can't go jump down. I'm gonna die. Oh, shoot him while he's running. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, come on. Man, I need better aim. Apparently I need flight school and target practice. There we go. Come on now. Dang, like every other shot. <laughs> Apparently, I need to let these dinosaurs know to hold perfectly still while I'm shooting. <laughs> right. 95, he'll probably take quite a few. These Therizinos, man, they do some damage if they, they get close to you. Uh, I know they do, it, it looks like they do some kind of topo when they attack you, I don't know if that's for sure, but it, it definitely looks like it, and I know they destroy your armor really quickly. Right. Got him, got him, come on. Oh, that'd be awesome if you would just stay in the same spot and make it easy for me. Do that, stay in the same spot. I can barely even see him. Alright, staying in the same spot. Oh no, where'd he go? Hang we're gonna have to get our bird. I hope he didn't, hope he didn't jump off that ledge over there. All right, go around. Dang Can't get through there. All right, let's get the bird. Crap, we need to eat. All right, let's eat a bunch of those. Here, our food is all the way down. I should have grabbed, I got a little bit of cooked meat back, back at the base. I should have grabbed that up. All right. Where did he go to? Oh, he was right behind me. Oh, where'd he go now? Turn around, turn around. Okay, was he running because he was toe-cored, or? Oh, no, I don't see him anywhere. Dang, I just let him get away. He was right behind me when I first flew down, and now I think I've lost him. Oh, where did he go? Come on, come on, come on. Hello, hello. Oh, which edge did he go off of, though? But not down there. I don't see anything running around down there. All right, let's turn around the other way. Man, I hope I'm not just missing him. Hopefully, he had to go off here somewhere. I don't see anything. Okay. Man, so... I think he was toeboard enough to run away a little bit, and I think he ran right off one of the edges, so we may have lost that guy. Maybe we'll find him here in a minute, but dang, okay. Alright. Oh, we lost one. Oh, hey, this guy's up. Who's he attacking? 
Oh, those trodons we were messing with earlier. Okay. Take him out, Ankla. Alright, we need that Ankla to take him out. Take him out. Alright, awesome. Cool. Alright, so our Ankla is up. Looks like it came down to a 187. 187. That's good. Go ahead and bump up his. Let's do a little bit of melee, that way if he gets attacked again, because we're going to leave him here for just a second while we look around. I want to see if I see, if the Trodons came down here, maybe the Therizino came somewhere near here as well, so. Let's take these berries back, because we need to eat a whole bunch. We're kind of low on food ourselves. Alright, cool. Just needed a few to get our food up. Alright, I'm definitely not seeing him down here anywhere. This is the edge, right? This is where we were shooting him. Alright, that's where I was parked. That's where I was parked. He was right down here somewhere. So I don't think he ran this way, but... Who knows? It's a pretty big drop right there. I imagine if you cleared this out, that some of this area would actually be pretty cool for building. We've got all the different levels. You can build some pretty expansive bases. Nothing, nothing. Let's get that doe dickers over here. Hold on. Oh, is that him? There's one over here. I don't know if it's the right one. Let's see. Alright, there. Let's see that guy. Level 95. That might be the one. I don't remember if it was male or female, but that should be the one we were shooting at. Let's park just a little bit further back. If it is the same one, he's got enough arrows in him that... If we shoot him a couple more times, he should run, hopefully. Theoretically. You know how that works. Theory. <laughs> Usually when we have a good idea like this, something bad happens. Well, let's try it out. Won't know until you try. Or won't know until you die. One of the two. Alright. This guy here. There we go. Alright. Just one a couple times. Hopefully this is the same one. Hopefully the same one. Shouldn't take too many arrows. Sure there's no passive. Alright, is he running now? Looks like he's running. Alright, if he's running, we need to go after this one. He said, hopefully this is the same one. He's, he's running, running away already. Oh, I didn't mean to jump off there. Dang, wrong button. Okay. Too late. Commit. Commit. Go after him. <laughs> we already jumped off. Just go for it. Alright, where is he? Oh no, he's mad. Oh no, no, no. I was totally wrong. Oh, we're not gonna get away. Run, run, run. Where's it? Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So we just found out that he was not, in fact, tranked up. So. <laughs> My fault. Alright. Oh, let's spawn back at base. See if we can get back over there kind of quickly. Luckily, it wasn't too far from base. Oh, crap. We're over at our little starter hut. Wow. So with all the base building, I have yet to place a bed in my new base. Not the ah, okay. Not the best decision. So let's hurry over here. We'll get on uh, uh we'll get on either our trike or our baryonyx. We'll get on one of the two and we'll take them up the hill and we'll hey, silica pearls. Okay. So there are sil silica pearls over in this area. Cool, I didn't I actually didn't know that, so alright, so hey I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab the trike and then once I get up there we'll bring it back. Okay, we're back up here. Alright, you should be right around the corner up here. Let's see. Ah, uh, the biggest thing. Okay, there's our bird. The bird's okay. There's a the Therizino right next to our body. Dang. Alright. I didn't go grab any more arrows. I probably could have grabbed some arrows and done something, but all I have is bows back then. I'm going to crossbow. Um, we're going to have to fight this guy. Let's go ahead and take him out. Come on. Alright. Alright, revenge. I need revenge for you just taking me out so easily. Alright. It's kind of a bummer. Didn't want to take him out, but... He was right on top of our body. Uh, maybe we could have lured him away and caught our body and came back, but I don't want to risk dying again. So, all right, let's grab all our stuff. All right, there we go. So we got everything. Looks like he broke all the armor when he those things attack you. Their your armor gets shredded, or at least the armor that I had. I don't have any big time armor just yet, so maybe with some of the st more sturdy armors, it doesn't happen. Or if you have a higher level one. So those guys in Arthur Flores, man, they do—they just destroy armor. Man. It kills you. So 
All right, so we got an ankle out of this. Let's take the ankle back. So we got the we missed the ankle, and then we'll worry about uh maybe gathering up some metal and some other stuff since we completely miserably failed with the Therizino. So we'll we'll try and get another Therizino here pretty soon. Those guys, I see them roaming around the, the base area pretty pretty constantly. Nothing high level, but at least we know this whole area there are some in this grassland area. So hopefully we can find one of them. So. Yeah, let's, let's grab the Inklo. I'm going to take them back to base, and then we'll be back. All right, we got everyone back to base. I took a little bit of time getting the Inklo saddle made up. We made us some new fancy armor. Went and got a whole bunch of refining forges, and then we've been trying to fill up these refining forges with a little bit of metal. Not not too much. It's taken a while to gather it, so our guy's weight isn't too high just yet, and we got to get his melee up so we'll actually get more metal per hit. So, and the only really good metal we have... Uh, right next to us is the little rocks next to the river and then we have to go up on top of one of the hills either across the river or back up where we got the Anklo to actually get a decent amount of metal so uh, we may have to do that pretty cool the Anklo does have uh, the weight changes just like everyone else so instead of weighing 200 pounds per thing of metal it's much lighter on the Anklo so uh, that's, that's pretty much gonna do it man so we got a few things going today so a little, little successful a little bit of fail with Therizino but overall not too bad alright anyone's watching I really really do appreciate it I'm having so much fun playing this and then now trying to record and kind of trying to think sequentially how to make things so having a lot of fun thank you for watching like subscribe and then we'll see you in the next episode thank you so much